Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, oh chainsaws and um, chainsawing here on the homestead. Now, um, just uh, I'm kind of late for the season to start, but you know one of the things on my particular homestead we have a decent amount of acreage of woods, and so I have a lot of dead standing trees. Therefore, I don't really um, you know it's not that much of a, a an ordeal for me to cut that in the winter time and use it as I go versus a lot of guys who have to cut trees down and season the wood in order to burn it so I am kind of lucky in that sense and so in, in that regard um, yes this is kind of a late video for chainsawing but um, uh, for firewood that is but uh, I'm gonna go help uh, some friends out uh, as well as uh, helping myself out so I got out the old chainsaw tested it and I want to just give you some of the tips and tricks that I use. Um, some of my friends have, uh, and, and, and enemies have, t have told me that uh, <laughs> the, I'm, a, I'm a very good tree uh, feller. So, you know, in that sense, um, you know, I, I do come with a lot of experience on this stuff. This is my particular chainsaw. Uh, this is an MS-461. Um, this goes for every every chainsaw out there the safety and the tricks that I'm going to show you on this video Applies for everything and so yeah, uh, enjoy it So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about chainsaws are you got to keep them in, in well-maintained condition So in this particular chainsaw um, we have uh, The filter back here, which I I can t take it out and, and clean it up uh, you want to do that every every uh, time you um, you refuel. That's what I do, and and that's how I maintain my still. And every time you refill, also um, make sure you get a drink of water when you're working. Uh, the other thing is uh, maintenance of this bar. Now you may notice. Uh, here, let me turn it over to this way. You may notice that hey, the still signs here, chainsaw is here. It's upside down. Well, it's upside down because you want to be able to get even wear. And you, as you can see, I have even wear on the top and on the bottom of the chain. So flip that bar around um, and get the even wear on it. Some people have asked me, <laughs> yeah, you have your bar backwards. And, and I tell them, no, um, you want to be able to do that to get even wear and extend the wear on your bar. The other thing on your bar, since we're here, is you want to make sure that you don't have any um, edges that have compressed too much where it's actually um, uh, flailing off or expanded um, some of the bar material outside so as this chain rides in here puts pressure on it what could happen is you can have some burrs on the edge here you want to file all that down and make sure the groove in between is precisely uh, what you need for the chain so yes that happens over time too so check that bar make sure everything moves freely and uh, the next thing on this chainsaw that I wanted you to always maintain is uh, this brake make sure this brake does engage and works and so yeah you want to make sure that works so I'm not running the chainsaw just because of noise but make sure that brake works and every time you are through making a cut engage that chain uh, brake and I know people who don't do that to me that's kind of dangerous and it, it, it really um, the risk reward isn't there just go ahead and use the brake make sure it works because that one day c could potentially save your life so anyway so that's uh, the basics of the the chainsaw itself um, and the other things that I want to talk to you about today is just some safety gear when using a chainsaw. So, of course, chaps. I mean, people always forget chaps. Um, make sure your chaps, yeah, it's dirty here, but make sure there aren't any really large holes um, or any kind of holes in the material or any of the fiberglass inside of it hasn't come out. If they do, you want to replace your chaps. Uh, the other thing I've been riding uh, recently is this guy, a tourniquet, inside my chaps. And the reason why I carry a tourniquet is because, yes, the chaps are there to, to save your legs, but, you know, how about your arms? And what if your chaps actually uh, fail on you? So, yeah, carry a tourniquet in there, too. Um, the other safety stuff is, well, this, this is a good um, uh, still-branded, uh, easy kind of... Um, uh, file to uh, sharpen your chains and in, in terms of safety your your chain should always be sharp um, if you see any kind of dulling you want to go ahead and touch it up and if you really have to 
uh, your chain's kind of at its last leg, you might have to to uh, to go ahead and and sharpen it on a on a on a tool. But for manual and quick, uh, this is one of the best that's out there. And of course, yes, don't forget your helmet, your ear protection, your eye protection, um, and that'll that'll keep you safe uh, while you're chainsawing. And finally, the other thing I wanted to quickly say is, yeah, another tip is, um, you know, make sure you have a dedicated carrying case for your chainsaw. I mean, I see guys, you know, that just kind of throw this in the back of their truck. Um, not a great idea. Um, and the reason for it is because, well, obviously you can, ding, you know, ding up your truck bed and, you know, mar, uh, mar that uh, mar that up, as well as putting nicks into your chain. That's going to obviously make it uh, dull quickly. So yeah, just don't throw this guy in the back of your truck. Go ahead and have a dedicated uh, case for it, like this. And this is a uh, a case for my still. Of course, you know what you can do is have. Um, a nice uh, <coughs> a wrench on it so that you can do maintenance with your with your wrench tighten up the bar take it off all of that good stuff use the you know the uh, the uh, screwdriver end to clean off the debris uh, and so yeah have have one of these also there's a file in here you can't see it but there's an extra file just a straight edge file for those really quick touch-ups and so yeah you get a lot from a case and the other final thing uh, my tip one of my favorite tips is this guy right here now I'll show you on my chainsaw right here see these guys sometimes work themselves loose these bolts so what holds your bar in you have to have extra bolts because if you're in the field chainsawing and you lose one of these guys well hey you might as well just say you're done for the day so to continue on that work having a, a pair like this um, zip tied to your case and that's another reason why you get a case because you can do that and so yeah that's the other tip I would suggest so have um, on your on on your case um, obviously this uh, this wrench and a couple of bolts and a uh, file inside here and uh, that's it alrighty Shalom.